Hi guys, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back to my channel. Now we are without a doubt in the age of the beard. Gorgeous, thick, full facial hair to up our street cred and give us extra man points. But guys, what about us? Us guys with patchy facial hair. Well watch on, I've got my top tips to make the most of the facial hair that you have. Guys, again, I'm in a different location. Because I'm doing two videos a week, I literally just have to film whenever I can in order to get everything done. So thank you to my friend Sarah, who said, get in the kitchen and film that video. Uh, but in this one, guys, I'm gonna talk about six different things. I'm gonna talk about giving your facial hair time, growing it, trimming it, shaving it, coloring it in, and even beard transplants. Now guys, there's not a set amount of time that it takes to grow facial hair. It comes down to several different factors, including your age, testosterone levels, any stress you've got, how fit and healthy you are, and it really just depends on the individual. Now when I first started growing what facial hair I actually have at the end of last year, you might remember from my videos, it was so itchy, I literally just wanted to grab a razor and just take it all off. But I stuck with it, and that's one of my tips for you. Stick with it. Stick with it for that first month and see how it goes. Keep your skin nice and moisturized so you use a really good hydrating moisturizer and also maybe get a beard oil, get it into that, that'll keep that skin nice and soft and supple and also help to soften what facial hair you have. And guys, after that month, you actually could be a guy who grows perfect beard hair. It could be nice and thick, nice and full, or like me, you could be someone who's got little patches and it grows in certain areas and these tips will be for you. Growing your facial hair can actually do wonders to cover up any little tiny patches. And I say little tiny ones because that longer hair can just sit over them very neatly. But if you're someone like me who's actually got proper bold facial patches, then growing your hair is just going to attract attention into those areas. Guys, I should also say, if you are going to grow your facial hair, then you really do need to maintain it. Keep it nice and soft and supple. So make sure that you wash that beard and then you condition it with something like a leave-in beard treatment or even a beard oil. If you can't grow it long or it's just too patchy, then really you need to be trimming it. And guys, this is exactly what I do. So I get my beard trimmers and I do a clipper all over my face and onto my neck. Now guys, you can see that the sides of my face are really very patchy, so I go slightly shorter on that. And by going shorter there, it makes the areas that are quite thick and full look even fuller. And it's exactly what we do with the hair on our head. By making those back and sides even shorter, then the stuff on top looks even bigger and fuller. Once you've trimmed your facial hair, it's time to put the clippers down and pick the razor up. And this is all about defining the style that you have. Now guys, I go really cleanly shaven onto my neck, as far up as where the hair growth changes, and I go right up to my jawline. This, for one, helps to define my jaw, but also, again, makes this facial hair look thicker and fuller. Guys, I also do it up onto my cheeks. My facial hair growth doesn't go very high, so I just get that razor up as high as I possibly can. I also flip that safety and the lubricating strip back on itself, and it means I can get a really strong line in. You can also see that actually by doing this, I give myself sort of better cheekbones and it really helps to define that style. I just think it's a great way to sort of say, this is the style that I want and I'm really committing to it. Now if you tried all this and it's still not quite right, then you can do this next thing. And so many of you are gonna say, absolutely not, but stick with me here. This is about grabbing an eyebrow pencil in the same color as your hair and just filling in some of these patches. You're gonna use little strokes just to add almost like fake little hairs into that facial hair. If you do have patches like me, then doing this is not gonna be the best. It's gonna look like you've just block colored that out. But if you put a little bit on the patch and then just blend with your finger, you're just gonna kind of take the attention off the brightness of your skin. Well, if you're white, um, like me, I'm literally Casper the Ghost. But if you've got slightly darker skin, you might not even see it at all. And um, guys, I should also say, little secret, no longer a secret, that I have been doing this for the past year. I've been doing this for the past year on my channel. I've done it in my eyebrows. I've done it on my facial hair. Nothing is real with me. Um, no, everything's real, but I just make the most of what I have. So if you guys are thinking, people are gonna notice, people are gonna think I'm whatever, then people aren't gonna notice, people are gonna think you look great and they're gonna tell you. Um, also, in real life, my friends also haven't noticed or they've just kept it very quiet. Um, but guys, two, three pounds, I'm gonna link to them, and you can check them out yourself. My last tip is actually more of a remedy, and this is about beard transplants. Now this is definitely the most drastic, and it's also the most expensive out of all of these. But guys, what they do is, they take hair from a different part of your body, it's generally from the back of your scalp, and they move it onto your face. Guys, this is very expensive, but if you're a guy who's got the money, and you really are that concerned about your facial hair, then go wild for it. If you're not that concerned, or really don't have that much money, then try some of these other tips, and also don't worry too much. As long as you've got your health, as long as you've got your happiness, it's all good. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Maybe a few tips and tricks for you. If you did enjoy it and you've not yet subscribed to my channel, then press subscribe. 
it's there or it's down there. It's free and it just means you're gonna see all my new videos as soon as they go live. But guys, come back on Sunday. I've got a video about maximizing your money. Bye-bye.